Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sirajul Akfazi. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to talk about density function theory. So what is this theory? We will learn in this video and I hope this video will be beneficial for you. So take benefit with the help of this video. Let us start. So I will talk on history of DFT theory. Then I will discuss about the background, then fundamentals of DFT. Then I will focus on working of DFT. Then I will discuss about example. Then I will discuss about when work on theorems, then I will discuss about energy functional, then on sham scheme, and then DFT calculations. So, what is the history? In 1920, introductions of the Thomas Fermi models. Then, in 1964, when Berg con paper proving existence of exact DFT. Then Konsham scheme introduced in 1965. Then DFT becomes useful in early 80s. The Nobel Prize awarded to the Walter Kohn in the chemistry for development of DFT. My friends, let little bit focus on background. To solve many body problems by Schrodinger equations. Only up to one electron problem we can solve Schrodinger equation exact. It is very hectic to solve the Schrodinger equation for a n body system. We must involve some approximation to solve the problem a method to obtain an approximate solution to the Schrodinger's equations of many body system is DFT. Now we discuss two parts. First part fundamentals of density function theory. In this we have solving many body Schrodinger equation and then I will discuss about the applications of DFT. The second part, doing DFT calculation, a practical aspect. So density function theory. DFT is a computational quantum mechanical modeling. And this modeling method used in physics, chemistry and material science to investigate the electronic structure, ground state of man, many body systems. Using this theory, the properties of many electron system can be determined by using functionals. In DFT, instead of considering wave function, we consider density functional. DFT work in term of density and phi, here you can see the energy is a function of R and phi square is equal to N. So, this is the working plot of DFT. Only up to one electron problem we can solve with the help of Schrodinger equation. We have to involve some approximations and trick born Hamer uh, approximation, Hohenberg cone theorems and we shall use the electron density as a functional and then we shall calculate the ground state properties. Now friend, many uh, particles problems. Find the ground state for a collection of atoms by solving the Schrodinger equations. H phi R i R n is equal to E phi R i R n. Means what? So we have a bunch of nuclei and bunch of electrons. We have bunch of nuclei and bunch of electron which makes the complicated equation to solve. Let's try to at least a bit simpler. If the first things we do apply, 
what what you apply born oppenheimer approximation in short bo approximation nuclei they are big heavy slow and electron they are small fast that means m nuclei greater greater than me now that means the dynamic of atomic nuclei and electron are separated so phi r i r l phi n r l star phi e r l so for this calculate ground state energy now solve the schrodinger equation for electrons si r1 r2 go to r n si r1 r2 go to r the electronic hamiltonian consists of three parts you know this is the big equations first part the second part and third part so density function theory from wave function to electron density is defined the electron density you can see with the help of this equation that it reduced to 3n dimensional to 3 a special dimension so electron density is only three dimension now make another approximation hartley fock approximation consider the jth electrons is treated as a point charge in the field of all other electrons this simplifies the many electron problem to many electron problems so one electron problems so we consider single electron system so phi r1 r2 go to rn and then phi r1 star phi r2 and so on RN. we define the electron density in term of individual electrons wave functions so this is the equations now, when Berg Cohen theorem based on two fundamental theorem, theorem one, the external potential or ground state energy E is a unique functional of electron density. So, functional is a function of a function. Now, theorem two, the electron density that minimizes the energy of overall functional is the true ground state electron density. Now energy function two electrons not only interact via their electronic charge but also by their spins and mutual repulsions in attraction so exchange correlations function is an approximation that takes a care of all quantum mechanical information my friend energy function consists of two parts one is known and another is unknown so unknown is the exchange correlation functions with the help of this formula you can see now cohn sham scheme solve a set of single electron wave function that only depends on three a special variable functions of psi r and it is non-interacting system the hamiltonian for the single electron system is minus h by 2 me del square plus v plus vh and so on so self consistency scheme trial solve cohn equation with the nr obtain single electron function psi r calculate the electron density starting with the calculate first nr and then compare with the results to go to the fourth so step four compare if different then process begin from starting with new nr if identical then ground state density is obtained so doing dft calculation there are so many dft package with the public license vsp then quantum expresso and then mbnet and then system so this is the references these are references VASP manuals, electrons, VQ dot density function theory, book ABC of DFT, and lecture book, fundamentals and application of DFT. So, my friends, I hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like this video, then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.